Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lance and you're watching Get Germanized Why All Germans Are Confused About Ass. Or Ass Confusion? German Ass Confusion? What even is the title of this video? I am bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get So many people ask me like, how did you learn English? Was it difficult? Oh, English is so easy. I bet it was a breeze. It wasn't hard at all. But then I say, well, it was until I stumbled upon ass. And ass has its difficulties in more than one way. And uh, I think many Germans, when they come across a versatile word just as ass, will be confused about it at first. Um, because apparently, just as in German, there are many words that have different meanings, and one of them is ass. And the first use of ass is to describe your butt. That fan, you, you can't see it, it's marvelous, but to describe the, the butt, ass, the ass, a noun. And then there is the word kick ass. So. If you kick an ass, that's that sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually it's actually a good thing, because if something is kick ass, then it means it's good, right? Ah, ha, ah, ah, that biker over there with his biking outfit. Hmm, ha, he looks kick ass. Get it? But sometimes there's an exception. Sometimes you just know what a word means right away by, by reading it, right? For example. Bad ass. Wait, no, that's not a good example. <laughs> bad ass means good. Bad means good in this case. I don't know why, but bad ass, if something is bad ass, then it's great. It's awesome. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that thing is bad ass. You know? And if you get some ass, from the store maybe or something, then basically you achieved the state of intercourse. You got some ass. Not your own, someone else's ass. Get it? And when someone is just a tiny piece of ass, like if someone is a piece of an ass, then they're good looking, they're attractive. Haha, <laughs> I have become a piece of ass. But oh, 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 if you're not careful and you laugh your ass off, if it's basically not attached to your body anymore, if you laugh your ass off your body, then something is really funny. Laugh your ass off. Hmm. Yeah. And if you bust your ass, <laughs> if you bust it, then uh, you work really hard. Your ass is busted, and you worked hard. At the same time, because the ass is very vulnerable and very valuable as well, if you cover your ass, I, I wish I could show that, but uh, if you cover your ass, then basically uh, you're, you're covering everything like you're protecting yourself, you're covering your ass. Or you could cover someone else's ass. Not necessarily by groping it, but by protecting the ass and the, the whole person in the process. Because <laughs> apparently in the English language or maybe in the English speaking world, the ass is the most vulnerable part of your body. And if that gets hurt, wow, you're done. And then, of course, when you look at the hole in your ass, it's the asshole. It's first of all a very descriptive image that you get in your mind, but also can be used as a word for a jerk, for an idiot, right? Ah, oh, that's an asshole over there. He crossed the line. Ha ha ha! What an asshole. If you kiss an ass, then you're a kiss ass. Not literally kissing an ass, but like sucking up to someone, uh, like, oh, you're so great. <laughs> if you do that to your boss, for example, then you're a kiss ass. You kiss his ass, basically, and then he likes you. I mean, who wouldn't, right? After getting the ass kissed. <laughs> and if someone 
ripped their ass, right? If she say, oh, I'm about to rip my ass, then you might have flatulences because that means you fart. You ripped your ass. <laughs> Isn't it also already ripped anyway? It doesn't, I, I don't know. Sometimes the use of ass is very unnecessary. When someone is lazy, you can call them lazy. Hey, you, work harder, you're lazy. But you could also say, hey, you're lazy ass. You're, you're a lazy ass. Or if your ass is very heavy, if you drag your ass, <laughs> right? I mean, not because of the weight necessarily only, but because you're exhausted, right? Dragging ass. If you say, oh, I've worked so hard yesterday and slept so little tonight, I dragged my ass, or I've been dragging my ass all day. Like, I've been so tired and exhausted all day. So, another great use for ass. Or if parts of your ass are missing, if you only have half ass, that can also be used in sentences in the English language. For example, uh, he did a half ass job. He did a bad job. Or he is half assing that situation. He's only giving 50% or less, I guess. I don't fit probably 50%. So half ass basically just means inadequate or with not enough effort. Another very interesting use of ass is your ass is grass. <laughs> uh, and an extension for this would be, and I'm going to mow it. Your ass is grass, I'm going to mow it. It basically means uh, you're ready for it. You're gonna get it. Haha, you are ripe. You're basically just threatening someone by saying the ass consists out of grass. I'm not sure why that is super threatening, but <laughs> someone must have thought so. Or if you take your ass, again, off your body and put it on the line. Put your ass on the line. Apparently in English that means to risk something. I mean it is quite risky to take your ass off your body in the first place and put it somewhere. Could just as well be a line I suppose and that is very risky. That's very that's a big deal in English if you take your ass and put it on the line uh, just to risk it. I put my ass on the line for you some people might be more lucky, they might have a hard ass <laughs> and be not as easily vulnerable or destruct dis destroyed. Uh, because if you're a hard ass, <laughs> then you're more. Mm, mm. Oh, you're very strict and stringent. Hard ass. So apparently become stricter if your ass is hard. Those people would probably not manage to put their the head and put it inside their ass. Because that means to be oblivious to a situation if you put your own head into your ass. Uh, first of all, that would be very difficult to pull off. Maybe they deattach the ass again and then put it on the head. I don't know how that works, but um, basically that means well, to, to not know what's going on. Oh, you got your head up your ass, man. An easier uh, task to achieve would be to put your thumb and put it up your ass. Because, I mean, easy done, right? That means that you basically are just wasting time. You're not doing anything. You got your thumb up your ass. You're like lazy, like... So if you don't want to seem lazy and like you're wasting time, just take that thumb far away from your ass, right? Like like this would be good probably. And then people think you're giving them a thumbs up, so. <laughs> and if you show other people that this ass here belongs to you, and you just say, my ass. But <laughs> that means a certain thing though, so be careful. Don't just say that, let me explain it first. For example, someone says something you don't believe and you know that it's wrong, right? And you say like, ha. Huh, that thing, my ass. Pfft. Ha! Another use of ass is when you have it in a can, when you have your ass canned, right? Oh, that's actually, <laughs> I just invented, not invented, but I just remembered that that is also an expression. Have your ass canned, right? That you're being fired. If you put it in the can, then you're, you're fired. Um, but if you open the can, and on the can with the ass inside, it says, whoop, ass. 
then you open a can of whoop ass and that means you're doing harm to someone or are about to harm someone physically most likely ha ha yo, look i got this can of canned whoop ass i'm gonna open it ah be careful <laughs> and this next one is quite obvious if something looks or tastes like ass <laughs> it doesn't taste good i mean i can't say for sure that my ass doesn't taste super great because i've never tasted it but i would suspect since other stuff and un 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 nice stuff comes out there that it's not the greatest taste sometimes I, I shower every day so again you would never know but if something tastes like ass that usually means that it's bad it tastes bad right so all this cheese tastes like ass this raisin bread marmalade tastes like ass or looks like ass too because wow no <laughs> and sometimes you just wonder like oh i wonder what's up his ass since we put so many things in there already right but if you say what's up his ass and people might think what's wrong with that guy what's his problem he's acting weird or if you get your ass and put it in gear like it's part of a car which is completely <laughs> ridiculous then uh well then you're making an effort so someone could tell you hey you get your ass in gear and then they they want you to make an effort and to work harder because apparently your ass wasn't in gear before and it's just been a complete disaster sometimes people just want your ass out of here they want you to take your ass and get it out of here. But not only the ass. That means most of the time at least that you should take all of yourself and get it out of here. Get your ass from here somewhere else. Doesn't matter where. They just want it away from them. Sometimes people don't want your ass to be gone. And then they say like your ass is mine. You basically belong to them for that time. Uh, not sure when you get your ass back, but for the first little while that ass, or well, your ass is theirs. Can't help it. And sometimes people have very bad habits and they might blow smoke up your ass. <laughs> Not sure how they like do that when you have your pants on and everything. Maybe it's some kind of kinky thing, I don't know. But when they blow smoke up your, up your ass and basically, you know, they just talk nonsense and lie to you. They blow smoke up your ass. They, they, you don't know anything anymore after that. Like, whoa, <laughs> what is this? I think there might be something up my butt. And it's not a good thing. It's, it's smoke ass, ass smoke. And if you don't have it, you can't give it right. Like an ass, that makes sense. But also, for some reason, some people think it's okay or normal to have the ass of a rat but they don't want to give it to anyone so they say i don't give a rat's ass so basically they don't care because apparently if you give a rat's ass to someone then you care about something weird this might be confusing to you as a german or just non-english english speaker right these words ass ha <laughs> who would have thought so many meanings uh so I, I i say move your ass get that thumb out of your ass and put it on my video right and uh, get your ass in gear and subscribe to my channel um you lazy ass i'd be happy if you told me your opinion but don't be a smart ass comment but don't be a smart ass please uh, and apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf. Uh, Wiedersehen.